And then there's no way we can lose now unless she does some bullshit where she like absolutely destroys all my cards on my side of the field. I really hope they'll do that. I'll be kind of mad. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now what happens? This is always the second mechanic. You're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. I'm not gonna. The way you say it like that, I'm definitely not gonna like it. But go on. Oh, fuck. How's it going, everybody? Speaker back here with some more Inscription. It's been a while. I apologize, but we're back. Now, Inscription is a game where we collect cards and we fight other people with cards in an effort to take their cards and potentially eat them to the Shadow Realm. I swear this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh! It just acts kind of like it. Yeah. Anyway, when we last left off, we had actually beaten Leshy. We got a new game. And we're trying that now. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like by the end of it. And welcome back to some more Inscription. I swear we'll actually finish it this time. I promise. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Initialize your team, new game. So, I'm assuming, yep, it is completely wiping our old part one save. We have no record that we actually bit the shite out of Leshy, unfortunately. But you know what? It's fine, because I'm actually finally in the second area. I do apologize, as I said. Like... We took ages to get here, but we are now. In the beginning, the world was not known to cards. They did not know cards, even. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. I'm assuming they're the uh, four talking cards, including Leshy. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimoire used their quill to inscribe epitaphs of the dead. Unless she used his wildlife camera to capture beasts, and other people it would seem. P03 used a particle scan to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Okay. Oh wow, this is, this is completely different. So we've gone from sitting in a room playing cards to open world adventure style looking thing. And we're a little robot dude. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Okay, so... I'm assuming, by the way, Grimora was obviously the stink bug. Uh, that's Leshy. PO3 was the, the stoat. Because I'm assuming the stoat was like, it was turning into a robot by the end of when we were playing. And then that leaves the wizard guy was obviously the stunted wolf. And I'm assuming then Leshy went and just captured them all. We're gonna go with... I'm a big fan of necromancy. We're gonna go with like, you know, skeleton deck. Yeah. I don't know why, I got I got the thing for necromancy, so uh yeah, we're just we're just gonna use that. Oh wow, so it is like an open world thing. What is this is right? This is actually way different. What the hell? Hello, how's it going? Woof. Uh okay. I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get the bridge fixed in. Full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. So, uh, come back later. Okay, I guess, uh, we're gonna go kill some scribes. By the way, I know you used that new game card again. You probably wanted to just try a new starter deck or something, I get it. But, like, I have to restart on this bridge every time you do that, so take it easy, right? Full disclosure, we didn't actually, like, start again. I hit the new game plus, and I was like, oh shit, I forgot to actually hit the record button. So we immediately had to go out and hit new game plus again. Um, yeah, I'm dumb. That's pretty much all there is to it. So we can either go do Leshy, or I'm assuming Grimora, then. I think we should probably head down to Grimora first, right? Skeleton deck, so we should, like, deal with the skeletons? Or something like that? Ah, you're here, marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern from which tomb marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. Okay. You found the piece of an epitaph. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. Okay, and what are these? 
Oh, okay, so we get to like put the parts of the epitaph in there. So I'm assuming who they are, how they died, and then something. Okay, it seems simple enough. Oh, we got the trapper here. You wish to trade? We're not trapping the other one. Um, I don't have any of these, so we need to actually acquire them. Okay, so we need to go get some um things. Uh, currency to actually buy some stuff off the trapper now. It's not just pelts. Found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, "Does not hold a grudge." Okay. Burr, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude, it's freezing in here. Maybe a heated bath will help. Well, maybe if you get that uh, chunk of ice out of your head, that might fix it. Oh, something's wrong. It's your deck, or rather your lack of a valid one. You've got 20 cards in it, right? Oh, right, we have to actually build our deck now. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we have to uh, just shove all these in here then, I'm assuming. Look complete. There we go, 20 cards. Right, now I'll fight you. That looks much better. Where were we? Uh, we were fighting a dude with an ice in his head. Oh, wow, this actually looks so fucking different. Marvelous, your first battle. Are you surprised to see me here? But you did select my starter deck. In order to play get at cards, you will need to collect bones. You gain a bone when- wait. Why do your eyes gaze over? Marvelous, you already understand. My time as an insect was not as- so Grimora was the thing, but okay. So right, we just gotta collect bones, we collect bones to play bigger cards. Easy enough to understand. So we need bones to that, we need bones So we just gotta end our turn here, cause we uh... Actually don't have anything. I literally don't have any uh, skeletons or whatever, so I can't actually... Summon anything. Are, are we just gonna get destroyed on our first game? Because I can't summon anything. Wow, okay. Talk about, uh... Huh. Bird, nope, I'm still cold. No, we're going again. We are going again. At least we don't, like, uh, die, I guess. Or have to start the entire game again. If we die. Ah, some skeletons. That's, that's fucking much better. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the game decided it wanted to just straight up cuck me on the first round. I don't even know why. I was like, ah, the thing you need to summon, you don't get any of them. Summon this guy next. I'm assuming that brittle thing there, yeah, after attacking it perishes. So brittle means it just dies. And every time one of ours dies, we get a new one. Okay, that makes a bit of sense then. Put this guy here, what's he do? At the end of the owner's turn, Gravedigger will generate one bone. Okay, so this is gonna be our generator card. But this man is doing damage here. He's like a super skeleton. Not now. Okay, I kind of get how the skeletons work. Okay, they're just like, it's just straight up, we just gotta build up a stockpile and go crazy. And then we need bunch of these, uh, bunches of these guys in our deck as well. I have a feeling it's gonna be a slow starting deck because, like, I don't have many monsters. It takes a while to generate the bones needed. I can't really do anything, so we're just gonna... Oh, okay, so... We use this to destroy our cards. That's handy. And we win. Easy peasy. Ah, okay, so the teeth are now foils. Got it, right, that makes sense. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack, on the house. Oh, sweet, okay, I'll take that. 
So, Scale of Mages. After attacking, he perishes. Also, if he only controls the no mox cards, he perishes. Oh, that's kind of shit. Got an adder. We know about them. When Steel Mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Rare. Necromancer. When another creature you control dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. Oh, so that's a... Uh, that'd be good for bone generation, then. Like, it legit... And spoil. Nice. Look at that. So it would legitimately, um, if my skeleton dies, I'll get the bone, then it gets revived and dies again, so I get the bone. So, right, I'll take all of them. Name's Casey, Casey Hobbs. Where have I heard that name before? I'm from the tombstone on the left. Oh, okay, so we have to actually, ah, right. So we have to defeat them to get parts of their, um, epitaph. That makes sense. Pulled out an epitaph piece, it reads, Defibrillator Fails. You found a card in the well, the ink is running from the moisture. What is this? Drowned Soul, Waterborne. Also, when Drowned Soul damages another creature, that creature perishes. Oh, okay, so that's like a poison... That's like a bone version of the Adder. Oh no, oh no, don't look... Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Oh, okay. I'm assuming this is the guy who died to the dog then? Because he's talking about snarling and sniffing, which is kind of fucking weird. He's got a bone dog as well. Ooh, that's a lot of damage being dealt to me. I'm gonna have to do this, yeah. And it stops the revenue for something because this guy jumps. Oh my god, I'm big brain. That was 100% planned, by the way. That wasn't, actually. Now I'm gonna actually take some damage in me, too. God damn it. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would be, uh, in terms of, like, learning. Cause it's, like, it's completely different, I decided to, instead of using Sacrifice, just use a new deck in entirely. So now I'm just trying to figure it all out again. Okay, let's go with this again. Uh, right, so we want to... Put the bone here. Does the thing. Then, we want to put... This boy here. And then we're gonna let this attack. We'll put all three of these in, yeah. We put this here and then this here, so it jumps. It's gonna dig me up a bone, nice. Here, he can attack. But we're gonna lose these two, unfortunately. But it's okay, because we get to pull Frankenstein now. Or would it be better not to? Let's do this, yeah. Because we'll wear, wear this thing down and kill it. I think that's for the best, is killing that thing off. Really quickly. Plus, we want to put ourselves in a position where we can get a bunch of foils. There we go. And now we're just going to start getting a bunch of bones. Grave digger down. I'm going to destroy that, and I'll tell you why. Because now we'll get to one. And then we're guaranteed to get an extra bone. We can summon the Necromancer. We can smash this. Yeah, because we do get the extra bones in that. And then we'll smash this. Then we'll attack for four, and we get a bunch of foils. Big brain. Excess damage. Four to win. Right. 
So that's two of these apprentice people down. Seems easy enough. It's over, you chewed me out. Now please look away. Turn your eyes to this care pack instead. Oh, I'll do that, yeah. We got a bow and hound, we got a headless horseman. Airborne at the end of the owner's turn, the headless horseman will move in the direction described in the sigil. But it also costs 13 bones, holy shit. I'm called Sawyer of the Middle Stone, Max my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. Okay, so right, let me get this right then. So, this one here is Sawyer. This one here is Casey. And I'm gonna hazard the guess to say Sawyer was eaten by a hungry dog. I'm gonna say does not hold a grudge, I'll assume. Yeah. We'll edit we can edit these, I'm assuming anyway, so we don't have to worry about them too much. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads brought down by scurvy. Okay. A gust of foul smelling air bills from the casket. Oh, hello. You have no offering? Oh, right, so we need to find an offering for this guy. Okay, I have no idea what one of those could be. Hark! A living slice of lemon approaches. Bright and triggers a lime. You think he will squeeze the defeat out of me? I'm assuming he's a pirate. Yeah, he's a pirate. I actually really like this uh, this, this deck. It's kind of cool. What the fuck is this? Ghost ship. Waterborne also at the end of the illness turn, ghost ship will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop a skeleton in its old space. That's really good. Holy shit. I will put this here. Yeah, he can't leave a skeleton now. Shit, he did. Okay, never mind. There goes that entire plan. About to lose my necromancer as well, actually, I just realized. Yeah, this guy will kill him. Yeah, this 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 mode actually kind of takes uh, it to a next level, because I actually have to think a lot more now, thinking about it. Or at least this this uh, these bone cards, anyway, are a lot more thinking heavy. I don't like thinking. Head empty, thinking bad. Okay, we're actually good, because that's going to go back in front of that, and we'll be able to, um, survive, I think. Nope, shit, never mind. This necro- well, necromancer doesn't get a second life, unfortunately. Let's put him there, put that there, and that turn. I'm generating bones quite easily, actually, so maybe we might actually put that horseman in the, um, deck. Because he seems really easily able, or it seems really easy for me to actually generate bones when you actually think about it, if you know what I mean. So I might put the horseman in there. Okay, so we need to summon this guy. Because we want to just generate an absolute metric ton of bones. I need me that pirate ship though, it's a really strong card. I literally am only getting these, oh my god. Um, let's just end their turn, yeah. There. I was about to like go through a fancy thing of destroying all my cards, but I was like, wait, no, we could just end their turn. Firstly, take ye this, a card pack, yes please. We got the Hawk, we got a Warren, we got the ghost ship, and another necromancer. And seven, or no, not seven bone hands. We got a bone hand as well. And because you must be, I'll share you me secret. My name's Royal. In the far right tomb, here's the headpiece. Okay. So she sifted through the bones and found the car pack. Nice, I'll take that. Revenant, nice, and another necromancer. What else do we got in here? Can we, like, look at all these? Nebatath. Carpack. Nice. Okay. 
Dead Hand is played. Discard your hand and draw a hand of four new cards. Ooh, that's really good. That's another epitaph piece right here. There was no cure. Oh, cool. We can change what a character looks like. I'll go with this. This looks nice. Right, so epitaphs. We have Casey Hobbs. Definitely hit by a falling piece of ice. I'm gonna say the defibrillator failed, right? Your man doesn't hold a grudge against the dog. And this guy here, obviously, he was a pirate. He died because of scurvy. And there was no cure for scurvy at the time. There we go. Marvelous, I believe you've proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. Well, we could try. Marvelous, just marvelous. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind these tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of a challenge's wits until one day discovered. I see that your ambition is to become the scribe of the dead. I think you are aware that I currently hold that title. Um, no, really? But it matters not, because you will not win, and guard. Alright, here we go, boys. My minions never truly die, you know. Let's see how you fare. That's a good start. A bunch of bones. Yeah, and she's got two lives, okay. Ooh, I'm getting nothing here. Oh, no. I probably shouldn't have put a bunch of bones up. I got, I got too, like, straight hungry to get damage in. Oh, my God. He's... Yeah, okay. We just got destroyed because I'm dumb. Holy hell. You wish to become a scrub dead, and that is your best deck? I have nothing to worry about. Wow. Okay, right. Let's let's amend that. We're gonna add the dead hand in. We're gonna add in another necromancer, another skeleton. Uh, we're gonna add in the ghost ship, and we're gonna add in these boys. Let's go again. Fucking Grimora trying to be a, a smart arse. Oh, wait, I didn't put my new skeletons in. Dumb. I'm dumb. Oh, my God. Life again. All right. Okay, here we go. We want to summon this. We want to summon this. We'll end our turn. And then we're going to summon this. End our turn. Summon this, smash it. Opportunities make up. We're Banshee, turn two to turn three, death by skeleton. This one will be back. Oh, okay, so she just keeps recycling her cards then, does she? Then we can use dead hands to get a new hand. We do that. Our boy is gonna attack. Or do whatever he does. Leave a thing and then go. I'm gonna die because I'm out of health. God damn it. Oh my god, this fucking fight, man. Holy shit. Okay. I think I know how we can do this. Firstly, we've got to summon this guy here. And we want to make him jump over. I'm not gonna summon everything like I usually do like a dumbass. The fights are so much harder than less. She's what the fuck. Okay. So the idea is, is to keep this guy here so that this one doesn't come into play, right? So now I'll put this guy down. I'm gonna take a hit here. I know I am, but put this thing here. Banshee died and then came back. Gotcha. I'm up to four bones now. So now I'm gonna put this here. And the Banshee will kill this and then it'll immediately kill that on its turn. Because the poison. There we go. 
There we go. Yeah, here we go. We got it right now. We've kind of dealt with the sarcophagus. But she's going to summon the Bone Lord, I think, or the Bone Hound again. Yeah, there it come. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the Bone Hound at bay over here with our own skeletons while we slowly chip away at our health. There we go. I finally fucking did it. Oh my god. That was actually so annoyingly tough. Oh my god. That's actually going to kill me. What the hell? Grave Lord right there. Lovely. We're going to put this guy right here. Prevent that coming into play. It's so annoying because she keeps recycling the same three cards, but once you get the hang of it, it's kind of like easy. Yeah. I'll put this grave digger down here, and then I'll put this guy here. Just to keep him over in this lane. And then we'll do that. And now we literally have every lane filled up, gaining us bones. So when one dies, I will just drop the dip, the big doggo for damage. And then there's no way we can lose now. Unless she does some bullshit where she like absolutely destroys all my cards on my side of the field. I really hope they'll do that. I'll be kind of mad. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now what happens? This is always the second mechanic. You're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. I'm not gonna. The way you say it like that, I'm definitely not gonna like it. But go on. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh fuck, it's right. What the hell? Do you miss them? Fear not. I'll give them back, of course, as corpses. You fucking bitch. Actual bitch. Okay, so right, now we've gotta like deal with, uh, all right, we're gonna put this here. We put this here. Put this here. Man, it's one thing to like, you know... Act, well, actually, you know what? She just straight up pulled the Leshy in Act 1. So maybe the other guy's gonna do the same. Where Leshy was just stealing their abilities. Because this is straight up just turning them into gold, effectively, isn't it? Except they're not gold, they're dead. But whatever. She's one hit away from death. We got her. Not Put that in your hands. She's dead anyway. We got her for sure. I wonder does the uh, overkill count for the foils we actually had? I'm kind of annoyed if it doesn't, but at the same time, I kind of feel it doesn't or it won't. It doesn't matter anyway. We got her. That was actually such an annoying fight. Oh my god. We literally only got one foil too, what the fuck? Oh, oh dear. And that's the first boss down. That took way too fucking long, oh my god. You, you really defeated me. I was not expecting that. You won't replace me, will you? Your ambition is to take my title, but there is something you may not know. There will come an opportunity to change your mind. And I beg you, spare me. Take these, then go. Receive the deadly card back. Ooh, what the hell is this? Broken idol. When it dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Ooh, that's nice. I'm taking that. And then we got another one of those. We got another one of the Banshee. I'll take that. Nice. Okay. Oh, battery low. That's not good. So now if we go back here then, we've like activated this or whatever. Which means we just gotta activate the other three and then we finish, I think. What I'm gonna do then now is I'm gonna finish up the video, boys. Uh, simply because we actually went way over time with uh, that fucking fight, which is unfortunate, but we did. So we are gonna finish it here. We are out of time, unfortunately. And we'll be back with some more inscription later on. Um, as I said in the uh, start of the video, I do apologize for not being uh, on point, on time all the time. But uh, honestly, I just lost track. We had Five Nights at Freddy's come along and then a bunch of great like one-shot indie games I wanted to play. So I was like, oh, we're going to play them. And as a result, lost track of so much time. So this has been Inscription, part six. I think we're on part six now. Yeah, part six, a new game. 
which is actually pretty fucking cool so far. We will become Lords of the Dead. Hopefully. Probably. Maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.